Hey, what's going on, guys? Not Long Duck Dong. Again, I keep trying to say that. Um, All Munch here. And I, I just want to talk about the combat back to the future of the game and gear customization. I just want to talk about Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate, or Ultimate Mortal Kombat 11 in general. Um, so, we actually... I, I fell asleep... Because I stayed up all night just to watch this reveal trailer. And after it happened, I went to sleep and I only took like a five hour nap. But. Sting. It. I still. It's still kind of hard to believe that we're getting Rain, Melina, and Rambo. Three characters I think perfect perfectly. Rain we, hasn't been playable in more than 10 years. It's just, like, mind-boggling. Everyone wants rain, but, like, it's been this fucking long. Um, Melina. Hey, she looks good. She very M MK2 looking. Very reminiscent of MK2. But also, I saw... People are upset that she don't have lips like MKX. But she looks like MK2, Melina. I, I don't know. It was just kind of hard to listen to those Molina stands. It's and we got John Rambo, which Sylvester Stallone voice and actor, which the voice and likeness. I mean, not voice and actor. Uh, the voice and likeness is John Rambo, uh, Sylvester Stallone, which is really cool. It's. I saw that they were talking about how he's mostly based off of his first blood appearance from the first film. Okay. But we got a price for Comet Pack 2. The Comet Pack 2 will be will be 14.99. Holy shit. That's such a good deal. I think in my opinion. Three characters plus skins. Yeah. So, it's, I, I want to talk about the clues also that Ed Boon said, and the clues regarding, like, if we got him right, and if this is what they're referring to, which would be, look up to the skies and see, it was the Bohemian Rhapsody song by Queen, uh, for me personally, I think it was uh, a Melina hint. Uh, because she has the teleporting kick move, where she just goes up into the sky and comes down from the sky. So, uh, personally, I think that's what she was ref uh, there referring to. Um, uh, a Nightmare on Elm Street. I think that was a hint towards John Rambo. Because in the Comet Pack trailer, he says, um, before he does his last blood two thing with the machine gun, he says, I'm your worst nightmare to Melina. And he... It, I, I just think it's Rambo. Sorry, I'm like, my cat's fucking going off. I think it's Rambo for that one, because again, the worst nightmares in the title. Next is Six Degrees, or the actual number six. I think that was that was actually a hint to two. I wasn't sure. Uh, it's Rain, of course, because the six degree because it was a picture of Cobra, Six Degree Belt, and Muay Thai. Sorry, is purple, so I thought Rain, but then again. Six films past First Blood is Cobra, so Six Degrees, Sylvester Stallone, it just made sense to me, I don't know. Uh, so yeah, that's what I think about the clues, and then now is the, sorry I had to get a drink of water, my throat's getting a little scratchy, uh, I want to talk about the, customize the customizable gears. For Rambo... I think it's going to be his knife and bow, definitely. 
But the last one, I don't really know. I, it's either headband or light machine gun. Personally, I think it's going to be the fucking headband. Uh, but, again, a lot of headbands are taken up by Liu Kang. But we'll see. Uh, Melina, she has new claws on her hands. So, I think the claws will be customizable. Of course, her size are going to be a customizable. And the mask. And I hope we get an option without the mask, because... Um, I always like playing Melina without the mask. Uh, Rain. This was kind of tricky. Uh, of course, the mask. All the ninjas, you can change the mask. His new weapon, which if I'm not mistaken, is a Katar, which is like a hidden blade. And his last one, I wasn't really sure. But I'm thinking an amulet or braces. And why I think Amulet is because he has new magic powers, it says, from the, to make the characters go to the water realm. But, again, I wasn't too sure. So, I thought either one of those. And, so, it's brought to my attention also. I see everyone in Reddit talk about this game's not the final. It's Ultimate MK11. Doesn't mean it's the final one. I think it's going to be the final one. Personally. Uh, but I'm still open. Because all these make sense. Who knows. Maybe even down the line of me talking about this. Makes me change my mind. So. Ed Boon tweeted out. We're not done with this game. Not even close. So that makes people believe the game is still going to go on for a while. And Ed Boon did say for multiple years this game will be getting DLC. And it's only been one year since this game. It's been one almost... No, let's see. April will be two years. So we'll see. Um, and I want to talk about this leak. The DVD Game Center on reddit he leaked six months ago that melina rain and rambo and the release date november 17th he leaked it six months ago no one fucking believed him we all on reddit banned him from it when he was actually a prophet he said he was a game tester and i'm starting to believe he was a fucking game tester because you don't fucking make up Melina, Rain, and Rambo right off the fucking spot and get it fucking right. A lot of the shit he said, even with the Aftermath story mode, the first one, he got all that shit right. And we still, he was a prophet and we banned him. I feel embarrassed. So, I went back to his leaks to look at him. And I noticed something interesting. This was six days, or it was of the data mines, or six days before. I think it was the day of the data mines, and that's why he was coming out. He was like, yeah, bitches, I got the fucking characters right. Go fuck yourselves. I think that's what he was, you know, basically doing. So... He also revealed that there was a second story pack coming after this. An Aftermath 2, if you will. I was... Again, did not believe this. Because... It's... It's kind of hard to think that, you know, this... We're getting more. But, I'm starting to kind of believe, maybe... This might be real since he got all this shit right. And what he said about the second pack is that it takes places like, yes, it's after the story mode, but it doesn't matter which fucking ending because it rewrites the first aftermath, kind of making it obsolete. And so, like, it doesn't matter if you choose Shang Tsung's, Sh Shang Tsung or Liu Kang's ending. So, the story of Guess is Havoc and Dagon got the crown to reshape the universe. Okay. It, that's pretty cool, you know, I like Havoc a lot. 
Dagon wasn't really a fan of, but it's a, it, it is what it is. So, Melina and, uh, I don't want to mispronounce this. I do not know how to say this character's name. Raiko, I hope that's how you say it. But, it, I guess they're going to be anti-heroes, Melina and Raiko. I had to get another drink. Uh, I guess Taven's also going to be in it. But he's going to be a 2-1 character that has a Shinnok assist. He, like, they awaken Taven and, like, the Shinnok is infused with him. So he, it's two characters in one. I guess kind of like the Noob Saibot and Smoke. I think it was Noob Saibot and Smoke. Pretty sure it was. Characters. Uh, I guess the story's going to have also cameos from other Mortal Kombat characters that we haven't seen for a long time, like Hutaro. That's pretty cool. Darius, unexpected, but a pleasant, pleasant one for me because I like Darius. I don't know. You, I just liked them when I was younger. Um, Kenshi, I like Kenshi, and I keep seeing they want Keanu Reeves to be Kenshi. I don't think Keanu Reeves is going to show up in this cameo. As maybe they will, because I know in Justice Two, Neo from the Matrix was supposed to be a DLC character. I mean, Catwoman's uh, super move was a Trinity for Easter egg from the Matrix. And then MKX, Cassie calls Kinchi Keanu. So I, maybe, I don't know. Uh, Serena also, which is, she makes another fucking cameo. MKX, she made cameos. Endings in this, she'd make cameos. She fucks Cabal for some unknown reason in Cabal's ending. God, forgive me, I guess, but Jesus, why, why that bastard? God, I wish it was me. But, once bitten. she, it, it's cool that we're getting Serena as a cameo. It's not cool. She's not playable. And then the next part kind of got me. Well, I did not mean to back out of this. Uh, Serena was DLC, but we placed by rain fright night i i was shocked i'm i look serena's my favorite female fighter but rain is my favorite male ninja and favorite ninja in general so if you swapped either one of them, I'm still going to be happy. We got Rain. Yes, I am happy. If it switched, instead of Rain, we got Serena. I would be happy also. So I'm not really mad about this. But the next one kind of like got me. Ashra. It didn't really get me. It's just I don't really care. Ashra was replaced by Quan Chi. Now, I fucking hate Quan Chi. I never liked him. I always liked Shang. I just thought he was better. The... But Ashra, I never really cared for anyway, in general. So, I don't really have a saying, per se, really. Because it's two characters I didn't really care for. I know everyone's like, Oh, you don't care about Ashra? When I talk to people, I'm like, No, not really. I don't... Really fucking care. But. And apparently the second Aftermath. Aftermath 2. I don't know if that's what they call it. I don't know if it's going to be called like Timelines or something. Infinite. I don't know. Uh, but six fighters were leaked in it. And it's supposed to be Havoc. Dagon. Takeda. Taven slash Shinnok. Quan Chi. And Raiko. I... Um, it's all dicks. There's no female fighter in this. Again, they replace Serena and Ashra in this. There's no fucking... There's, it's just all dicks in this comment pack. It's... It, 
the... I'm happy for Havoc. I've really wanted Havoc in a modern day Mortal Kombat. And in this game, they tease the fuck out of him. More than any other character, Havoc's in a lot of this. So... And... Again, I guess Havoc and Dagon were supposed to be in the last in the compact 2 according to this DVD game center but was replaced because their endings dealt with story mode stuff kind of like how Sindel's was for aftermath where you figure out she was evil the whole time and killed her husband and they rechanged that but again I am very happy very grateful we're getting more content nonetheless so that's all I wanted to talk about, and I'll see you guys later.